rid of all the air that time. But it comes from down here through that filter thing into here through the pump, returns back to the tank. This is the, the primer runoff. I'll try to start it again, see if it'll stay running. It won't stay running like it runs out immediately. I don't know. Maybe they it can't get air in the tank. So I have uh, squished this open. Now that can't be it. It's got a little tiny hole right there. I don't know what it is. Besides aggravating this hill. Still being a problem. Push the fuel line down a little bit while I'm pulling out with a wire so it's weighted. I am connected. That, you know, for that to be plugged would have to be such fine particles, it'd almost be like talcum powder. Filter. Remove the washers. Here it is. So, that holds clean. Okay. Keep your eye on the moving parts. Got some gas in there. Got the fuel line back on. Prime it. Give her a try. She's not as good as it was uh, before the problem started. Torque screws. I already took the air breather out. Throttle. Yeah, I forgot the throttle. Okay, it's got a little dog leg on it. There it is. And this is, looks like a crankcase breather. Yeah, goes to this. It's a little PVC valve. It's actually a valve. product can air pressure can come out of the crankcase but it can't be uh, put in it's kind of a heat shield too I see the valve going up and down a little bit Open and shut.
Well, that little tiny piston probably smaller than my thumb, so that's why ounces probably of vacuum there. So I'm going to call that good. And uh, go into the carburetor. O ring. O ring is good. And make sure that stays open. So the O ring goes in there. It's got good fit there too. Well, that doesn't leak because it didn't spray gas all over me. That's a little rubber thingy. Here's the screen that guy was talking about. I just found it. So, the screen is on this line. The reason it's clean on this side is because all the trash is on the other side. It's on the other side of that screen. So I need to blow it out this way. Let's see if I can see through it. It doesn't appear so. So if that screen's plugged, it's got to come out this hole. And that's where it comes from, from the filter in the tank into here on the other side of that screen. Paper of the hour and see if anything comes out. Focus, come on camera. That was in that hole. That hole. And that screen kept it from going any further. So there's my there's my problem. I just about guarantee it. That's the screen. Okay, I just blowed the screen at wow. Little tiny hole. Screen goes in right on top of that. When I blew into here, it blew the screen out. It's a lucky thing I had my hand on it. And it I got an orifice there and there, and another hole there, so here's another hole. Better keep these covered up. Here's a screw there, it's holding. I have no idea what on. This looks like it's spring loaded yeah here it goes so that's a little valve there it opens up a hole over here okay gotta clean this out blow it out okay put this on Line up my holes, put this block on, line up the hole up here, two holes down there, put this in, that's the pumper, put the screws in, now this goes over. Here's the screen, there's the little uh, hole, the little keyhole. Okay, those line up. Oop, okay. 
And this goes, there's the little keyhole on this side, so all of this is blowed out. Blew it out with air. Plenty of air. This really was pretty clean except for that little chunk of muck -a muck Start all the screws before anything is tightened down so that it's all lined up. Snug. Yep, yeah, okay. This is back together. No extra parts laying down here, except for that little piece of crap that come out of there. Might be a piece of plastic. Okay, this is working. I'm going to put the throttle in first, though. Okay, so this goes this way. This hose needs to go over this. Air breather crankcase ventilation goes there. And I'm pressing it on there. This feels fairly snug. Now the gasket. Remember, the hole has to line up with the hole. And the choke lever is right here on the top. And it is open. There it is. Start these two carburetor screws into the head. And seat them a little bit. Find the happy spot. It is snug, snug, and that's a paper gasket back there, so I'm not going to crank down on that thing any further. Check my throttle. Yes, throttle is good. Yeah. Gas tank filter to this. That's where that little chunk of crap was inside of there. This is the return line. Alright. Gas her up, give her a try. Alright, I got some gas in there. Put the cap on. I'm going to pump her up. So it's coming from here, and it did before, and it pumps through here plenty. That little tiny flake could have plugged off the gas. Squeeze it in so that it's all over. Paper napkin. Take the excess off because you're just collecting dust, not restricting airflow. That's a dust breather. Collects the dust, so don't go into your cylinder. If you get too much on there, it becomes a big old clog. I guess that was it.